In Windows 8, one of the most annoying things was switching between the Metro interface and the desktop interface to access your settings. Luckily in Windows 8.1 this is updated so that most of your settings, if not all, can be accessed from the Metro interface. Hello, I'm Alex Bavalsik from HowToDoTech.com and today we look at settings in the new Windows 8 interface. So now we're going to take a look at the PC settings interface in the Windows 8 uh, new, not Metro officially, but the new interface. Now to get to this all you have to do is go to your charms bar, hit the settings icon, and then hit change PC settings at the bottom, or hit the logo to get to your PC settings. So we're going to want to look at PC settings on the left on this giant column. From here you can see different things such as PC and devices, accounts, SkyDrive, search and apps, privacy network time and language, ease of access, and update and recovery. And each of these are going to have submenus within them to access those different parts. So starting out in PC and devices, you have the choice of your lock screen, your display, Bluetooth, devices, mouse and touchpad, typing, uh, corners and edges, power and sleep, autoplay, and PC info. So we're not going to go through every single setting because this video would be much too long. So we're just going to talk about the general places to access different settings. Under lock screen, you're obviously going to be dealing with the lock screen. This is going to include your lock screen wallpapers as well as any type of lock screen app. Now one of the cool things that you can do is pick the source of a lock screen slideshow. This is new in Windows 8.1. And uh, I've chosen a SkyDrive folder, but you could certainly go to a different folder, one that's local on your computer, and select that, and any pictures inside that folder will be shown as a slideshow on your lock screen. Now there are some other settings here, but obviously all of this is going to deal with the lock screen, what's shown on it, what you can do while you're on the lock screen, and so on and so forth. Next up, we have the display. Now the display is really simple. You can change the resolution here, as well as maybe the orientation, and there are a couple more options at the bottom. But other than that, it's going to be quite simple, and we can move on to Bluetooth now. Now if you have any connected Bluetooth devices or devices that allow Bluetooth connecting, it'll show up right here. You can manage pairing and things like that. Devices are really simple. Any device connected to your computer will show up here as well. And you can choose to remove it, such as me removing this uh, printer right there by just tapping on it and then hang remove device. Really simple and again, any device will show up here. Uh, the mouse is really simple, whether you're left-handed or right-handed. Scrolling speed. Uh, typing, once again, very simple. You have a couple options for what shows up on your keyboard or spelling, but other than that, it's really simple. Corners and edges are what you might expect, turning on things for app switching and corner navigation. Really simple. Power and sleep are going to be your options for the screen turning off and your PC going to sleep. Very simple. Autoplay, also very simple. Um, you can choose autoplay defaults here. And then PC info will tell you about your PC. Now sadly, I did have to blur out most of my PC settings, but I did leave the list for you so you know what is shown and uh, then you can access it. So if we hit the back button and we go down to accounts now, we can look at some more things. You have the option to look at your account. I did blur out my emails. Um, I also have the option to go to sign in options and from here you can customize passwords, picture passwords, pin, and uh, you can manage other accounts if you had more on this device. Now one thing you might want to remember is that this is made for more than one person and it's also a mobile operating system in addition to the desktop. So uh, when you have certain things like SkyDrive settings and other settings like that, think about the fact that this is also meant to be used as a tablet operating system when you're looking at these different settings. That way you might not have to ask yourself, why are these here? So the SkyDrive settings are really simple. I haven't talked over them because if you want to see what they are, you actually have to go in and uh, look for yourself. Next up is going to be Search and Apps. Now Search got a redo in Windows 8.1 and uh, it's very nice. It has Bing Search, which you could turn off if you choose not to use Bing Search and only want to local search. But there are, of course, tons of search settings as well. Certain things like uh, what apps can do. And because this is also app settings, we have notifications here as well. Now the quiet hours that you see up top is a lot like the iOS Do Not Disturb mode, which is actually pretty cool and I'm glad to see it in Windows 8. 
Now the app sizes, it takes a little bit to calculate, but then you can see how much space your apps are taking up. This is really helpful if you have a mobile operating system. That way you can see how much. And since these applications are not stored or accessible from the desktop interface, this is helpful. Um, this is also things we have not seen in Windows 8. Next up, we have privacy. This is incredibly simple. You have a couple privacy options that you can change here. So if you're looking for something like access, uh, this will all be under privacy and you can look under privacy for that. We have network. This is going to be your internet connection settings. This is accessible from the desktop interface by hitting network settings at the bottom, but you do have some more advanced settings over here in the new Windows 8 interface. Uh, we have time and language. Very simple, chances are you won't be going in here, but this might be helpful if you're new to your PC and you might want to change a couple time or region settings. Ease of access is kind of like accessibility on iOS, just comparing the two together, but it's going to allow you to do accessibility things. Update and recovery, be very careful with what you touch and update recovery. This is the most important part of your settings because if something happens to your PC, this is where you're gonna need to go. So um, very simple there, and you're gonna wanna take a look at that. So those are your PC settings, plain and simple, all organized so that it's easier for you to find what you want. So uh, you can certainly go there real quick and take a look at the different settings. So we hope you have enjoyed this video from How To Do Tech. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below or email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. We do ask that if you have a question, you leave the device you're using as well as the operating system along with your question. How To Do Tech is on Google Plus and Facebook, so feel free to circle us and like us there. You can also ask us questions on those social media profiles. Click on the annotations now to go to any one of our videos or playlists. You can also click the links in the description to go to all of our playlists. Don't forget to like and subscribe.